One of the most common questions to every jeweler is, can I resize my engagement ring or wedding band? The short answer, yes, you can. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. So let's go through details and I'll show you what you can actually do with what type of ring. My name is Serge and I'm the owner of New Novovo Custom Jewelry. If someone made the ring, that it means that someone else can actually fix it or resize it. No matter what type of gold you use, uh, 14 karat, 18 karat, 24, or you use platinum, is it a white gold or yellow or rose? Doesn't really matter, the process is pretty much the same, but it's varied depending on how complex your ring is. First of all, let's talk about very basic wedding band like this one. This one made out of 18 karat white gold. All you need to do is just heat it up and put it on the ring stretcher and reduce the size or make it larger, whatever you want. You usually can go one or two size up. Um, probably if you need more, then you will need to add some gold. With uh, white gold, it's a little bit complicated. You'll have to do the rhodium plated again. But overall, it's a very simple job and always can be done. In case if you have some sort of pattern in your ring, you'll probably have to cut it and you need to solder the little piece uh, in between the, of the same metal, obviously, and the jeweler would have to do his best to keep the pattern the way it is and try to make it not visible for you. And if you're trying to reduce the size of the ring with the pattern, you'll have to cut it again put these two pieces together, solder it together, and polish it. And again, if it's a white gold, you'll need to plate it all over again. If you're trying to change the size two steps and up, probably your pattern would lose the shape. You need to talk with your jeweler about it. It's always case to case, but you need to be ready and you actually need to know before you buy in this kind of ring that it's very hard to change the size. If you're trying to change the size of the engagement ring with a single stone, again, it's pretty easy. You're just working on the opposite side of the ring. And again, you can uh, heat up the metal, you can stretch it or you can shrink it. Uh, you can cut it in half and add a little piece of metal of the same quality, of course, or just cut it, take, it, uh, take a little piece away and uh, solder it again together. So that's a pretty easy change. The fun part starts when you're trying to resize the three ring stones or more, let's say like a pave band. In this case, you'll have to remove all of the stones and resize the ring, then put back of them together. You can do this without it, but then you're risking uh, losing the stones because naturally when you bend in the ring, the prong become a little bit looser. Um, you might miss it. I mean, not you, your jeweler might miss it. And uh, with time, you can easily lose the stones, like the side stones or even worth the center stone. So it's always worth just removing the stones and putting them back together. If you want to change the size of the pave band, then it's a little bit harder. The problem is you have all the stones around and you can only remove this stone with a part of the ring or add the similar part. So you're always limited in changing the side by the width of this stone. Um, you can go another way, you can actually cut it away and put the little metal part, but then it's gonna be visible. Like you, you have all of the stones around and then you have the little metal plate over here. So in that case, you'll have to wear your ring in the way that this little metal, metal plate is always on the opposite side of the palm. But this one shouldn't be a surprise for you. The salesperson who's selling this ring to you has to explain that when you're choosing this type of ring, you have to be very careful at the beginning and that your ring size can change only that way. Especially complicated rings, that's the one with the enamel plating. In that case, you will have to take all of the enamel away. It's basically acting like a glass when you're trying to change the size of the ring. So it's naturally gonna break. And it's better if you can uh, try it out before you're gonna do enamel plating again. So you give it to the jeweler, he changed the size. Um, 
you put it back on again, try it out, it feels great. Then you put in all of the enamel bag again. I personally really love the springs and it's incredibly beautiful, but you need to be aware of this ring size process. It's, it's pretty complicated. Sometimes it's costly as well, but in my personal opinion, it's worth it. I really like this type of rings. And the last type of rings, it's a multicolor rings. In this case, you just need to know what you're dealing with. Is this colors come from the plating itself or it's a real deal and you have three type of gold, types of gold, uh, yellow, white, and rose. If that, then it's pretty easy. You just heat it up and stretch in it to wherever you, the size you need. And if it's a plated thing, then it's a little bit more complicated. You'll have to stretch it and probably plate it all over again. No matter what type of ring you're dealing with, your jewelry would always walk you through the process. We only work on the rings that we did. We don't really work on um, the rings that made by someone else, unless our clients ask us to work on uh, their collection. And and every time we sell the ring, we are talking through what the process of maintaining the ring and what's the deal if they want to resize it. And your jeweler would have to do that as well. If uh, they doesn't, just ask them directly, like what it's gonna cost me to resize this specific design and if it's even possible. That's a very important thing to ask. I just want to point that whatever design you have, whatever ring you have really, it always can be changed, uh, sometimes a little bit harder, sometimes a little bit easier, but it's always doable. And if the job made right, you won't see the difference. You're just gonna give the ring to your jeweler and you're gonna get it back as new, without scratches, without marks. You won't see the where the job was done and that's the best indication. I hope I answered the question and I did that not so you can go and resize your ring yourself, but so you can understand how it's gonna happen when you give this ring to the jeweler. And in case someone would tell you that it cannot be done, uh, you would understand that this person just don't have enough knowledge or skills to do the job. It's always can be done and if it's done properly, you won't see how it was actually done. Hope this information was very helpful. Thank you so much for watching and like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you very soon.